showing off their size, speed, power, and problem-solving abilities. These behaviors keep our whales active and engaged. SeaWorld's killer whales have inspired generations of guests to care about our natural world, and we're excited to share their story with all of you here today. Killer whales are the ocean's top predator. They use cooperation and communication, not just size and strength, to take their place at the top of the ocean's world. At the bottom are small animals, like krill. At the top, the apex predator, the killer whale. Killer whales are as big as a bus, faster than an Olympic swimmer. These behaviors contribute to an environment full of enrichment. We spend days, weeks, months, and years building relationships with our whales. This creates trust, and that allows us to do some amazing things. For example, when you visit the doctor, you will present your arm to draw blood, or you step on the scale to see how much you weigh. It's much the same with our whales. Today you'll see our whales moving together in unison. These synchronized behaviors strengthen social bonds and enable them to problem solve as a group. Working together as a team is what makes them the ocean's top predator. Scientifically known as our sign is orca and commonly called killer whales. Here at SeaWorld we refer to them as Katina, Malia, Nilani, Trua, and Makayo, our killer whale family. Makayo is our youngest whale. He's 11 years old. And our oldest is Makayo's mother, Katina, who is 45 years old. Katina is also the matriarch or leader of our pod. SeaWorld's animal training techniques create a language between us and the whales. It is a language of learning through positive reinforcement, encouragement, commitment, and care. Through these techniques and our relationships, the whales learn to trust us. They even take an active role in their own health and well-being. One of the first healthcare beh behaviors we train is a voluntary blood sample. Our whales learn to roll ventral or upside down and present their tail. This not only gives us a great look at their entire body, but it also gives us access to easily seen blood vessels on the white undersides of their tail flakes. Now our veterinarians take a blood sample at least once a month and our whales are trained to remain calm and relaxed throughout the procedure. You may notice our trainers rubbing or massaging their whales, whether on their backs, pectoral flippers, or tail flakes. The whales have very sensitive skin. And this is just one way that we can reward them for remaining calm during procedures like this. It's also a great way for us to strengthen our relationships with the whales. Now taking a blood sample is just one way we can make sure that our whales are staying healthy. Another important diagnostic is weighing our whales. We're able to weigh our whales by asking them to slide their bodies up and out of the water onto a killer whale size scale, located in one of our adjacent pools. Now you may notice that the space between the dorsal fin and the tail flukes is still in the water. That's called the peduncle, and it's the powerhouse of the whale. It's very muscular and very heavy. With the peduncle still in the water, we wouldn't be weighing the whole whale. So we simply ask our whales to lift their tails up and out of the water. Training this posture enables us to ensure accuracy. So we know that our younger whales are growing properly that our older whales are maintaining a healthy weight. And the care isn't just physical. Mental stimulation and play are vital, and we surprise and engage with our whales at every opportunity. Play is how killer whales teach their young to hunt, and for the adults, play is important too. It seems that they just enjoy having fun. Making time for play is an important part of life for killer whales and for us. Everybody, I'm over here on the left side of the pool. So killer whales learn a lot by playing. 
They also learn through observational learning and mimicry. From the moment they're born, killer whales learn necessary life skills by playing follow the leader with their mothers and other whales. Our whales play follow the leader with us too, and we're going to let them play that game with all of you here today. So left side of the stadium, it's your turn first. Stand up for me. You're going to get to play with Malia. So on the count of three, we're gonna put our hands to our side and we're gonna spin in a circle. Ready? One, two, three, spin. Try it again, guys. All right. So we're going to put our hands at our side. And one more time. One, two, three. There, she's got it. Well done. All right. You all can have a seat. So you'll notice that on the second time, Malia was paying really close attention to you. Killer whales are very curious animals and can often be seen spy hopping or jumping completely out of the water to get a better look at their surroundings. Now, the lung is going to demonstrate this. All right, right side of the stadium, it's your turn now. Everybody stand up for me. Morgan's going to teach you a behavior called screech. So watch Morgan down there, and on the count of three, we're going to fling our fingers over our left shoulder. One, two, three. So killer whales breach for a number of reasons, whether it's to surprise their prey, to scratch an itch, or just to show off. It's their way of saying that they have arrived. of the killer whales in our care has shed light on many mysteries surrounding these amazing animals. For example, the gestation period of a pregnant killer whale is 17 months. That's information that would be impossible to obtain in the wild. Some information, however, can only be gained through field research. That's why SeaWorld partners with groups like NOAA and the Norwegian Orca Survey to advance global education. Now, killer whales are powerful animals. And perhaps the best expression of that power is when you see them hunt. Killer whales stand apart. They have no natural predators, and just about any other ocean animal can feed their dinner. Depending on where they live and their chosen prey, they've developed some epic hunting techniques. Off the coast of South America, killer whales will beach themselves riding in on waves just long enough to catch prey. They'll also create waves that knock animals like penguins or seals from icebergs. Most importantly, they cooperate, communicate, and coordinate as a team. Here's footage of killer whales corralling a school of herring. A whale dips in and feeds, while the other whales keep the fish together with swipes of their tail. So killer whales create waves when they hunt and they use their tail flips to stun their prey. You're about to see a demonstration. For our whales, it's a high energy activity session. But for you, it means it's time to get wet.
amazing athletes and can eat up to several hundred pounds of food every day. In the wild, killer whale diets depend on their location and the time of year. Unfortunately, overfishing, pollution, and other factors are having a serious impact on some killer whale populations. Killer whales are impressive animals, and it's pretty obvious why they're the top predator in the ocean. That means killer whales are invincible, right? Oh. Killer whales depend on a plentiful food source and a clean environment. They're completely dominant, yet completely dependent. When it comes down to it, killer whales are not the most powerful animal in the ocean.
Instagram to track our latest recipes and find out more about the animals in our community. Thanks again, everyone, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day at SeaWorld.